I've experienced with both these guys. It's been a long time since we talked about Mike Thernovich. Um, <laughs> We have, of course, been laughing at him uh, uh, more. Man, you know. Charlie. But here's Charlie Kirk. Uh, he looks uh, bad. Like, I'm sorry. Kirk does. I'm not trying to. I just, I don't know. All right. Well, uh, pop this up here. This is uh, uh, yesterday. Charlie Kirk show. Uh, Kirk now, of course, is, you know, um, trying to, he's, he's trying to become the next Limbaugh. One donut at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> How do you think that spiritual dimension manifests itself in politics or in culture, if at all? Well, once your eyes have been opened a little bit, or in my case, you know, my eyes have been opened a little bit, you see things. Um, you learn. The number one thing I learned intellectually is that the timeline the demons are on is not on the timeline that we're on. Demons have your whole life. Because I had a demon you know, visit me and offered me all this temptations. And in I the said, ayahuasca no. or just generally? On ayahuasca, yeah, wow. yeah. And I was offered all these temptations and I thought, no, I'm, I'm, I don't want any of this. And I expected the demon to like lash out at me. And the demon said, that's okay. Amen. We have your whole life to get you. There you go. Well, I mean... There's probably some truth there. I would disagree on what you know constitutes demons. So that's what that guy's up to. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> tripping to... on ayahuasca and, and meeting demons who are well, tempting. Him. But 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 you know the the interesting thing is that there is a a uh, a metaphor there for what the conservative movement has been able to do in this country. They were not in any way. Um, they were not in any way. Uh, uh, demoralized by Roe v. Wade. They were not uh, demoralized by Obergefell, and they know, and, and or frankly, the establishment of the administrative state. They got all the time in the world to tear it down. Um, it's just that with, with Mike Cernovich, it ends up being like um, something a little bit different. Are we going to play this? Uh, well, I, I think I found an image of... Uh, uh, Mike Cernovich with his demon. It's going to be scary for folks, so put, put it up, Bradley. Look at that. Oh, man. Isn't that terrifying? Yeah, it's so <laughs> scary. I was trying to get Bradley to pull up the video, the Eamon Hawk video of you uh, lo looming over uh, Steven Crowder in his nightmares, because that might have been what uh, what Cernovich saw in, in the demonic version of you. I remember where uh, when Cernovich had his ayahuasca trip and I had to t spend five minutes. I had to tell my kids, just hang on. I'll be right back. I left the dinner table and I went to go visit it. Here, pop it up. Um, I, I, I went to go. I went to go visit Cernovich. And I was yes. like, hey, man, you heard that he was going to be indisposed and probably in a paranoid state. Yep. And so here you are. I think we should need to have a meeting with his dad. Irony alert, Steven. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a baby. Dude. <laughs> I just... That's the demon. <laughs> that's the demon, yeah. Um, well, trying to get a little bit uh, soulful, uh, Cernovich and Kirk.